Hey, YouTubers. This is Wayne Goodman from Freedom City Studios, and we just wanted—I just wanted to include you on this really cool tutorial I'm about to show you guys. It's how to create the new Team Nick logo. Recently, I created this logo from scratch by tracing it and using the pen tool. Looking around today, I noticed that there was another way to do this. There was actually a font. I didn't realize this until today. So today I'm going to show you guys the easy way and hope this really does help you guys. So um, here, let's get started real quick. Let me exit out of this really quick. Okay, what you want to do is load up your Photoshop or just load it from Photoshop real quick. Go to File, New. Uh, you can title what you want to call it. So I'm going to I'm going to call this Teen Nick. Oops. Okay, you want to keep this as a um as a nineteen twenty by ten eighty with a resolution of one forty-three with the background color as background contents. Click OK. Now you should be at this. Okay, first thing first, we have to, what we have to do is create our background. Our background is quite simple. It's actually a dark blue. So what I have here now is a is a color right here. It's 020528. If you guys want to use that, that's fine by me. Um, any other color you guys can use, I'm fine with blues or anything like that. I just felt that this one came out really nice. So... If you guys want to use that, then that's fine. Okay, um, what you guys do is press shift and backspace, and this will set up the background. So you just click on, click on that, background, click, whoops, two monitors, <laughs> click OK, and you get this really deep blue right here that is really cool. So, that's our background. You don't have to change the background or unlock it or anything. It's perfectly fine. We're not going to really use it. So, in the link in the description, in the link in the description, I will put this link to this font right here for you guys. But, um, this font is called Nickelodeon. Um, create two new layers. On the bottom layer, just add teen. Control A if you guys have this those background lay right here and then control it's control R or command A on the Mac. And then add it to what the color was gonna be. So the color that we were gonna use is zero zero F F F seven. And that is a nice little baby blue. Okay, now that we have that, we can add our another layer on our next text tool. And put this one as Teen Nick. You want to put it just, just nicely right there. That'll do. Alright, go to the color swatch. Um, our orange color is going to be F5. 7B14. That's our orange color. Click OK. Now, if you have it like this, or it's just uneven a little bit, what you guys can do is use one of these um, rulers. If you guys don't have it, it's Control or Command R on the, on the Mac. Or you guys can go up here to the Window tab and just find it and look for rulers. That's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do is get this, slide this down a little bit. Actually, zoom in just a little bit so I can see a little better. There we go. That works out a lot better. Okay. 
now that we have that done, I can get rid of this. Okay. Now that we have this, our, just our plain layout, what we want to do is go up to Teen, go here to Blending Options, and create a create our inner shadow. This inner shadow is going to be at the at overlay. You didn't get a nice blue from from what we have. In this in this case I'm using a 00D to FF. Actually you can't really see that overlay, so let's see. Let me just go with normal. We want it to come from the top, so what we're gonna do is for the angle, we're going to go for 90. Set the distance to 5. The choke to 0. Size to 3. And then we are done in this area. Okay, now go up to the Nick logo. Blending options, inner shadow. If you guys is having you guys' way, then you guys can just move it a little bit to compensate. Okay. Now we want to get our nice little orange. In this case, where I'm using a E5 A701, click OK. Use normal. Actually, multiply was actually very nice. Set the distance to 7. The size to 3. Click OK. And in my original logo, I have my my logo here. In this logo, I have my logo right here in the bottom, so people can't say. So I so people know that I made this logo from scratch. So what you guys want to do is use your own logo, or you guys can create one. Um, I have one right here. So let me pull it up. Scale this down by pressing the control command on a, on a Mac. Bring this down just a little bit. Bring it up. Click enter. And I have myself a fresh new look in a simple and fashionable way. Hope you guys really like this tutorial. Please follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. And I hope to see you guys soon. Visit my webpage at freedomcitystudios.tk. Hope to see you guys there. More, more tutorials are coming soon. Check out the services. We're awesome. See you guys next time.